Grace, God has signed for our freedom, and he won't take his signature back. Theodorus, Colocatronus. The Greek people endured the rule of the Ottoman Empire for nearly four centuries. That changed in 1821, when Greek revolutionaries cried for freedom or death. The Ottomans were not prepared for the tenacity of the Greek revolt. With the aid of the British Empire, Kingdom of France, and Imperial Russia, our modern Greek state was forged in 1829 under the Treaty of Adrianople. However, most ethnic Greeks would continue to live under Ottoman rule. Here is where we can discuss the Megali idea, or great idea. The hope is that one day, Constantinople and many ancestral territories can be reclaimed. Therein lies our goal, to reclaim these lands and to form Byzantium. We're led by Otto von Wittelsbach, a Bavarian noble installed as the Greek king by the 1832 Convention of London. Once again, the great powers would decide the affairs of Greece. Democracy first began in Athens, and we'll see a form of it return after his rule ends. We will now begin our story in 1836. Here's where so much began, Athens. We're gonna turn it into a proper capital, a city that is known all over the world, not only for its past deeds, but current as well. We're being led by one Bavarian prince, King Otto von Wittelsbach, the Greek king. Now, he's got a few traits we need to look at. Romantic, which provides 25% more political strength for aristocrats. Their way is really the domineering way, and we'll want to combat against that later on as we want to change laws. We don't need to worry about the commander part because I'm not going to allow him to lead our armies. He's also one traditionalist commander, which provides 5% more prestige. Prestige is important. It really pertains to how others perceive your own nation. So over here, we're currently rank 37. We're only a minor power. We have 29 prestige. We want to get more, but thankfully he adds a bit. Over here, we're able to see that we have only 10 battalions, one conscript one. So we can't really compete with the Ottoman Empire or other great powers. We've got a few flotillas. And that's fine, but again, nothing to really challenge others. We're currently ranked 21 worldwide. Our GDP is quite low. The majority of it all comes from Attica, the state where we have Athens. After that, we have less than 1 million people who live here. That's quite small. We've got 129,000 peasants, which is incredible. Those are the ones who are able to work. Dependents are like disabled veterans, wives, children, all of that. Old people. Our literacy is only 32%. We want that to go up. We want to create a land of enlightenment, a philosophy once again. So that'll be my goal, to really modernize our people. Our standard of living, rather impoverished, that will go up too, but it will take time. We'll get other people to work for us as we learn and teach. Over here, we have our state religion. Russia shares it, Serbia, and many other lands too. That's how we'll be unified. And we have our primary culture, Greek. We've got many Greek people all spread out under other lands. And here we have infamy. If we declare war all the time or do other dishonorable deeds, we'll become rather infamous. But thankfully, we have no issues. For diplomacy, here's a very important thing to note. We've got attitude and relations. Relations are diplomatic standing. So right now, the Ottoman Empire and our own nation do not get along. But the attitude is more about what's underneath. So over here, Austria likes us they want to protect us the ottoman empire they're like hey maybe we shouldn't be enemies so even though the current situation is not good they would like to patch things up that makes it easier but we don't want that in fact here's what we want i'm going to right click on austria and i would like to become a protectorate they'll become my suzerain so i'm going to join their market i'll be a member of their customs union which is fine and i'll show you why in just a moment let's take that my entire goal is rather simple, I think. It's to reclaim all Greek lands. So over here, we have Thessaly. If we have a look at the population, 91%, 1 million people follow our faith. We've got nearly 1 million people who are Greek and we'll keep on conquering like that. We're here to reclaim those lands. And so one day we might even come over here to Constantinople, 20% Greek, 
but look at what they have here 1.51 million for gdp nine percent of the ottoman's economy if i take that over we'll become rather wealthy not only that we need to look at western anatolia we don't have any coal coal is vital for steel we need iron and coal so if we conquer what's over here then we'll be able to produce more steel which is what we'll need to really become modern there's also coal over here in wallachia and southern serbia so that's where we're going to have our targets eventually one day we're going to free these people because right now wallachia and serbia and moldavia they're under control of of course the ottoman empire now the ottoman empire does not get along with egypt which is down over here these two may one day fight that would be great oh yeah look at that ottoman empire views egypt as a target of conquest the ottoman empire is still mighty but they are the old sick man of europe now let's have a look at our economy before we go on ah politics that one topic that makes everybody happy and we can all agree on we need to talk about legitimacy right over here legitimacy matches up with how well the interest groups and government fits with your own country's laws the lower the legitimacy the longer it'll take for a nation to pass a law right now we have 69 percent which is pretty nice we only have the landowners in power they're led by of course king otto or at least he's a member he doesn't actually lead them they do have their own leader joseph joseph ludwig and they have their own traits too and popularity so all of that really impacts everything you do in some type of way we're able to bolster them we could try to suppress them if they weren't in our government can't suppress those in power but you can bolster anyone over here we've got some traits too every single interest group has traits and they'll become active or inactive depending on how much they either like you or don't like you there's also ideologies you're able to see what laws they like they're indifferent to or they just completely hate we'll have to watch out for that only 1.7 thousand people who have so much power and influence they are the leading interest group over here you're able to see who's a member of that group the laws they like a lot and after that we'll just come back over here to our politics tab now we're going to reform our government right over here there's more to look at but i don't want to be there all day and here's a reason why because we want more legitimacy for one but we also want more laws that we're able to unlock so what laws could we push for right now we've got autocracy landed voting hereditary bureaucrats all of that but we want more we also need to diminish the power of a few of these very powerful groups if i want to pass more progressive laws then intelligentsia need to have more sway but right now they're mad why are they mad because pretty much every law i have outside of one takes them off so we're going to bring in the armed forces that provides five percent more legitimacy for me that's cool we get more laws over here that we're able to push now movement support are laws that are pushed by the opposition those not in your government we'll take that let's come over here and have a look at our own laws right now i'm not going to go over every single law there's a few topics that we'll just have to introduce as we play because if i don't i could be here for 30 minutes talking about so much more I actually have to curate what I'm talking about because if I go down the rabbit hole, we're not going to get back anytime soon. That's why I'm just trying to really touch on what's pertinent to our current gameplay. And right now, here's what we need to look at. Policing. Right over here. We have local police force. That adds 10% to a landowner's political strength. We don't want that. Now, it does reduce state penalties from turmoil when people are radicalized, when we've conquered land and they're really ticked off all of that we want a dedicated police force and right now the landowners oppose it that's okay though they like me but they won't like me they'll be neutral if we pass it that's okay too many people support it if we have a look at that if i do that the intelligentsia will no longer hate me and we won't lose 10 percent of our prestige and other parties will like me more so we're going to push for that now there's going to be some debate We've got 23.4% for a chance to pass. To advance, it's 24.9%. Not bad. And, of course, the landowners want to stall that. Hopefully, it'll change in time. Now, I often like to come over here and add a religious group to my government. Why? It's only in the very beginning when I need two things. Religious schools and also charity hospitals. So we begin with our schools, which is why I don't need to worry about that. 
They help me convert people, also to educate people too. It gives them a bit more power. So why would I want that early on? Well, because we need educated people for more advanced jobs, but also private schools are for the wealthy and public schools, we won't be able to support or reach that for a very long time. So we need some manner of schooling. Then down over here, I'll probably add them eventually. That way we'll be able to use charity hospitals. They'll get a bit more power, but less people will die. That's a good thing. Less people dying, more people to work. Private health insurance, public, yeah. We're a really far cry away from that. Now, beyond all of that, we've got a state religion. Naturally, we have a monarchy. Eventually, that will transition over to probably, in my view, a presidential republic. That might be what I push for later. So we'll look at other laws later on. For institutions, we've got, of course, education, which we did talk about, and law enforcement. I could bring it up, but that would give them more power. It's a great way to keep the peace. Now let's have a look at diplomacy. So over here, we're able to see that the Ottoman Empire would like to be friendly towards us. No, we don't want that. We want our lands back. They want to be friendly because they don't want to fight us. So here, I'm going to make them a rival. That gives to me 300 influence. Sure, we're not going to get along, but that's okay. So up over here, 1200 for influence. Keep in mind, we have no mana pools, no actual storage outside of gold reserves, but that is for emergencies. You want to spend your money where you can. Russia, they're cautious. Let's get them to like us more. It'll cost us 300 for influence. Austria, they need to like us more. Two Sicilies. And over here, France, because France could intervene. That would be a pain. So right now, we're trying to get quite a few factions to like us more. That's a good thing. Do we want to fight anyone right now? No, we don't. We want to avoid that. We're just here to really keep the peace, and already Austria is going to make me their protectorate. And you'll see that there are many ways to do the same thing over and over, but I'm just showing you some of them. And by the way, let's have a look at research. We've got three tabs for technology, production, military, and society. Right now, we're going to focus on the stock exchange, and here's why. It's going to reduce the cost of bureaucracy for my trade routes by 25%, it's going to make my trade routes even more competitive. Hey, they'll pick my stuff first. And over here, it's going to unlock two new laws, one new party, and a new technology for later on. We're able to see how much innovation we have, and the more well-read we are, the easier it'll be to unlock new technology. Also, there is technology spread as well, which means we're going to pick up more technology even if we don't focus on it right away. It's going to spread to us. People talk, you know. So there we go. We have our new technology. It's going to take 23 months, but eventually we'll have that. If we have a look over here, I'm currently spending 60 of my bureaucracy on trade routes, which is a lot. That I need to really go down because I'll need a lot more to manage the new people that we're going to get in our state. Now we're going to have a look at our political lens. And I think I'm going to build one government administration building because again, I'll need some bureaucracy. It might cost me a bit of money, but we're going to have some rather educated people here. Let's put that over here in our capital. We want those educated people right there, and we want them getting more power. Currently, it'll take me 60 weeks. That's okay, though. For decrees, we're going to pick up a few, like road infrastructure. That'll work out. And we also want to help a few more people become qualified. So here we go. Social mobility. Their qualifications will just be an easy thing to reach for. There we are. And we'll pick up one more for agriculture. Right over here in the Peloponnese. Done. So I'm using up all of my points, and I'm going to change that up as we go on. I mean constantly changing that up. Everyone wave goodbye to our Greek market. We only have three members, three states. We're going to join the Austrian market. Now, I won't be able to really change any tariffs at all. None. But that's okay. We're going to get access to so many new goods. Think about a small state like mine. How long would it take for me to build up my logging camps, my farms, all of that, in order for me to really get a more advanced industry? It'll take way too long. Why not import the basic goods and, at that point, process all of them into more advanced goods? There we go. We're now a member of the Austrian market, so let's come over here. F4 also works. There we are. We're a member. So we're going to be able to import a lot of really good stuff. We're able to see details of the whole market. Iron, which I do not need right now. Not right away. The French want it. We'll export a bit of iron for more money. We've got paper that we need. We definitely need paper. Wood too. We're gonna import it from the Russian market. My bureaucracy is going down. We'll keep 20.1 because I'll need some of it. So now that 
We've got a friend. We also have a lot of information to look at. We've got technologies that are currently spreading. We'll move down to one speed, like the cotton gen. You know what? Let's have a look at that real quick. That's right over here. It won't take too long. Pretty soon we're going to have a cotton gen. It'll be easier to process a lot more cotton, 25%. That's a lot. Down over here, Serbia is improving relations. The Dutch do not like the French. Tuscany and the Papal States are not getting along. Oh, two Sicilies and the Ottoman Empire. They're not getting along either. So if we're able to befriend them, they might help us out when it comes to the Ottoman Empire. That's what we want. And of course, we have our big buddy right over here in Austria. So here is Creed. 1% of the Egyptian GDP. What if we took it back? Austria may side with us. Good. We'll get it back because we need it. Got to get our people over here. War reparations would be ideal. If we were to be paid, oh, that would be phenomenal. We'll offer one obligation. So right now, we're currently in the opening moves. Escalation is continuing. They've come to join us. Also, it looks like other nations right now are not a big fan of Egypt. All right, Montenegro, you're over here and you're improving relations. I'm going to have you come join me as well as a puppet. But we'll see in time if other powers might go for Egypt. At the moment, though, I think I made a good call because right now everyone wants a bit of their blood. More importantly, France does too, which is rather shocking. If they come over here, they've got 105 for their flotillas. They're going to be able to easily invade. Also, we're going to make a lot of money because of war reparations. Let's have a look at that real quick. 10% of their treasury. Wow, for five years too. Then we're going to be able to really invest in our territories. We'll fight one war over here against Egypt, and later we'll go after the Ottoman Empire if we're able to. It all depends if Austria will support us. What an iconic duo. The French and British are now rivals again. Let's see, Russia is beginning their embargo of Egypt. That's a good thing for us. And now Great Britain is making a play for Great Qing. They want to open up their market. The Ottoman Empire is now a rival of the British Empire. We've got our forces coming up now. Austria is bringing out the conscripts too. Oh, that's incredible. Let's go over here to force speed. Let's see, we do have support from France, two Sicilies, and that's okay, they probably won't actually join, but if France did, we would easily win. Anatolia interest activated. Yeah, so I have an interest over there. It's got to be in any region where you don't have lands already. And yeah, mine are right over there. So if we go up to five speed, which I'm only doing because right now we just need to wait for a moment. You can also see that we have 594 radicals. You know what? Let's get a few more. We've got quite a few loyal people. But I finally want to work on getting my dedicated police force. I just wanted a few more loyalists first. I wanted a buffer because we're going to have a lot of unhappy people because of the new lands we're going to conquer. There we go. So it's only Austria and it's only us, which in a way is a really good thing. June 3rd right now, we have only one goal and that's to do a naval invasion. We might not make it, but we need someone to come over here to conquer these lands. Because if we take Crete, it's going to work in our favor. All right, France, stop improving relations. I was losing out on a bit of influence. And if you have a negative balance at that point, you're going to lose prestige. So what is going on right now? We're doing our naval invasion. We've got to wait for them to actually get ready. Then they'll try to move over here and take over Crete. It's very likely the enemy flotillas will come after us and actually intercept our forces. But if we could distract any of them while Austria moves in, they only need one landing to work out. If they get it, then we'll have one. And that would truly be ideal. Over 30 days to go, then we'll try it out. Or maybe Austria will capture Crete before we do. And if so, it'll cancel our current orders. And that's really not a bad thing. I'm only watching over here. It's currently controlled by Egypt. But we just wanted to change. We're currently on four speed. If I go to five, well, that's pretty quick. We're going to check out our battle info in just a bit. No one is really fighting at all. Not yet. 10 days to go. Nine. Oh, come on. Let us land. I doubt it's going to work out, but again, I like to gamble. Oh, look at that. Huh. All right. 
Austria got it. I wonder if maybe they fought some manner of naval fight. I don't know yet. Let's wait and see. Either way though, we do have it. So war support is going to shift into our favor. We could try to potentially invade somewhere else. We might not make it or maybe we would. We would just need to take over one area over here on their land where then it would allow Austria to move in right away. And I'm sure our ally flotillas will move in at some point. But look at that, 89%. Theirs are dropping quickly. Keep in mind, they're having to pay for all these men. It's a lot more expensive for Austria, but look at that. It's not too different. Because of that, it's really hurting the overall economy of Egypt. When you have men up, it's not cheap. So you've got to pay for them. We're here to try out a new naval invasion. I'm going to keep on trying until we make some type of landfall somewhere. I'm trying to go for Dongola and a few other areas over here. If we're able to do that, Austria might be able to send in men. And also, we've got a new event, a good vintage. The wine produced in Attica has been lauded by sommeliers as outstanding. We have a war going on and the wealthy people are like, you know what? I love wine. We can make it exclusive for export for more prestige. Or over here, produce more. Let's get more prestige. We're not producing a lot to begin with. All right, so right now, our soldiers are trying to establish a new front. It might not work out, but if it does, that would be incredible. I mean, that would be great for us. Because again, Austria would be able to fight. It failed, but that's okay. So we'll try again. We'll come down over here. As far down as we can. And they'll let you know if you'll be intercepted or not. So Austria, they're just waiting. They're waiting for us to do something. We have no radicals right now, which means we have universal support. That's incredible. It nearly never happens. We need to enjoy it while we can. And we're still trying to pass a law too. It's all supported by the armed forces. Of course, not our dominant group. Right now we have what? Over 30 days to go. Unfortunately, our Austrian friends were intercepted. They're gonna lose a naval battle, but guess who has a much larger population and a lot more money? Austria. Oh, his mustache didn't do it. Poor Franz. Right now, we're getting ready for our own fight. Hopefully, we'll be able to make it. Actually, let's move up over here to speed 4. Speed 5 is incredibly fast. Yeah. They were just outnumbered. Their defense was actually fine, but we don't have the numbers. Their navy is just massive right now. All right, our turn again. We're just here to really distract them, but to also bring down their war support. If we win a few battles and we tire them out, but they push us out eventually, that's okay. The king has not intervened in our political process. All right. If I do that, the armed forces and our intellectuals will be rather angry for five years. However, they like me a lot. We'll do that. Largely because I want to pass that law. That will diminish the power of the landowners. Done. Got a new technology, stock exchange. Very good. All right. Let's go look at some more technology. We'll come over here and pick up banking. Why? Because I want some minting done. I need every bit of money that I'm able to pick up, especially once we have a few loans. And look at that. We're now here. Oh dear. I am very worried about what's going to happen here. I have no idea at the moment. Our allies are actually traveling right now, which is very cool. Are they going to make it here in time? I hope so. Here's another army. Carl Ludwig and General Laval. Nice. Okay, there is no active battle yet. Our enemies are still traveling. They probably have what? Oh, okay. Only a few conscripts. I was hoping for more. Even more men are on the way right now. We could defend or we could try to take over what we can. That's really my idea is to try to take over what I can over here. Oh yeah, look at that. We got a front. A little front to take over. That's my goal. Just to really expand what we can, because if we get pushed back too much, well, they'll win. Uh-oh. Here they come. 30 more days to go, advancing to the front right now. Here's what I'll do then. Defend. I've got to. I've got to wait here now. And just stay calm. All right. We'll do what damage we can. We've got over a month to go. Russia, they're at 39. They like me a lot. Two Sicilies as well. Austria, we are working on it. Oh my god, 147 battalions. Yep, we're in trouble, all right. 
one active battle over here. Come on. I just need you to hold on. Yeah, we're going to lose some fights. As of right now, though, we are winning. We have more battalions over here. Let's have a look real quick. Though we are losing more men. Okay, over 100 dead. Over 600 wounded. We got our troops from the Peloponnese. Attica as well. These are details. Yeah, we just need a lot more. All right, let's hold on. Just need to delay. Then we'll have friends here. There's our victory. We did it. Ha! Huh. A failed attack. All right. Now, my friend, you've got to move away, I suppose. We've got to move away. Come back over here. We're able to see what is happening. They are fully mobilized. We have been pushed out, but that's all right. It's okay. We're just going to wait here now. They're at 13.4 for their overall war support. We have a look at our side. We've barely lost any support. People are pretty happy at the moment. I could actually try to go after a few other areas if I really wanted to. I could try to go after... Well, it really depends where I want to go, but... Over here in Lower Egypt, Adana? Yeah, their navy's moved away. Huh. That would be fascinating. We'll give it a go for fun, just to see. I cancelled our naval invasion. Our enemies are over here in Trieste. Have a look at them. They tried some manner of invasion, some type of gamble to change the tide of the war. Their war support is plummeting, which means we're going to get war reparations. It's very likely that we'll get that. We'll have so much money. That's why I'm currently building up our construction sector. It's going to be very expensive, but it's going to be worthwhile. We've got some gold reserves. And as you're able to see, our income is shot up too. That's because of a few things, like changing up my taxes over here. Liquor is selling a lot more, so I'm able to tax that and make some money. That invasion failed. That's okay. Most people seem to like me quite a bit. I'm trying to improve relations over here in France. They could get involved. I don't want them to, but look at them. They're right over here. A failed naval invasion. We had one. I don't want another one. Let's come back over here real quick. The cost of war? Over two million. We'll have to come over here to Crete and really help out. Devastation does a lot. It reduces attraction for migrants. Infrastructure goes down. More people die. We'll also have to incorporate them. They'll be unincorporated. It'll take me like maybe two to five years to actually incorporate them at the cost of bureaucracy, which is why I wanted more points, even though I could have made buildings that probably made me a bit more money. So now let's go up in speed because they're going to be done soon. Once they say, hey, take what you want, then we're going to be able to end that war. They're very happy with what we have over here, they being Austria. And there we go. We've got it. I wanted you to see that. That's going to pass, and it's over. Have a look at that money now. Now they're paying us a lot, too. We're going to have that for a very long time. We've got many radicals. Hopefully, we'll be able to get our dedicated police force. Let's come over here to decrees. We've got to help out. So we'll cancel two of what we have over here. Perfect. We want to promote national values. We've got a few people who are not Greek and also do not follow our religion. Violent repression. A few people die, but those who remain will be happier. You know what? I'm not going to kill them off. I'm not going to do that. Later, though, I am going to do that. Yeah. I'll be kind for a little bit. All right, we're losing prestige. Stop improving. Now we have a lot more. I could improve relations maybe with Egypt. Yeah. I no longer hate them. I only want it Creed. If they want to hold on to what they have over there, that's fine. In fact, if we have a look real quick... They want to focus on cash crops. They could provide a lot of food for me if we get, one day, a better relationship going on. So, here we go. Construction sector. I'll change it from, let's see, wooden buildings over to iron frame. That's going to be expensive. We'll need iron for it. But, we're going to be able to build a lot faster. Look at that value of 9. Alright, we've got our dedicated police force. Landowners don't like it. They're a bit angry. That's fine. It was bound to happen. But it's also going to reduce their power over time, too. That's a good thing for us. I mean, most groups here love me. They're still at plus four. I mean, look at how happy and loyal these people are. We'll come over here to institutions. 
I could elevate it. You know what? I'll do that. Yeah, we'll go up from level one to level two. Turmoil will not be an issue once we're up there. And we'll get rid of a few more radicals too. That's what I want. Incorporate. Two years. In two years, they're going to join us. And as we begin to incorporate, we don't have to wait for it to pass right away to get all the benefits. We get benefits over time. It grows. All right. So right now, they're going to be isolated. That's largely because, again, their infrastructure is not in a great place. There's turmoil. There's devastation. I could actually help them out if I really wanted to. We'll come back over here to decrees. I'll cancel that one. What about emergency relief? There we go. So we're going to pay a few people to shut up. Now, we have a lot more money, so here's actually what we're going to do. We're going to build up even more. I know it won't be cheap. We're going to have to import some stuff. But if we keep on building up, that's going to help out. All right. What's over here? Language in the classroom. We could force them to learn and speak Greek. There's going to be some angry people. Yeah. Or I could say, hey, we're going to let you do your own thing. You know what? Let them do what they want. Okay. We're not here to discriminate. We want them to work and be happy. If they die in the mines, that's a better fate, correct? I think so. All right, a cotton gin unlocked. So now we get more cotton. And over here, we're gonna shift things around a little bit. That way we get even more for our building value. It's only at nine. We've got the money, we're able to pay for it. We're currently in 1837, which means that truce is over with the Ottoman Empire. Return my state. Let's come over here. I've got 60 maneuvers. I'm going to call in Austria right away. I've got to, I think. Let's do that for one. Let's go back. I'm going to pick up a few other locations if I'm able to. So let's conquer not only Thessaly, but Macedonia. They are very Greek too. They're going to have a lot of Greek people, which is why we want them. I'll gain infamy, but it's not too bad. Now, I've got some maneuvers left. I could conquer more land. I could go after maybe Western Thrace. Oh, yeah. That would be really good. If we're able to push for all of it, I'm going to really enjoy just having a massive economy. Imagine what we're going to be able to do. There's going to be some issues. Sure, the Turkish people won't be happy. We've got, let's see, Greek, Turkish, Bulgarian for cultures. And they've got 700,000 people. Over here, we're looking at over 400,000. Macedonia is a bit more impoverished. Thessaly has a lot. And because we're going to have our little buddy, I'm going to feel pretty good about that. Yeah. Let's see if they're going to be willing to join us. I think they're going to do that. We've got our war goals. We're going to have them on our side. They're leaning towards us anyway. We'll actually move up in speed. There we go. So now they're taking the lead. We just need to wait. I don't know who might join them. There could be some great powers that come to join them. Who do we have right now? No one, really. Yeah, they're neutral. But Montenegro has come to join them. That's a really bad idea. They're very fearful, too, so they could back down. They might even back down. Let's come on back over here to force speed. Okay, stop improving relations. We don't want to have an imbalance for our influence. Our GDP will slowly go up. For construction... I began with only 5 value, now I'm at 14. That should go up to 15, so I'll have 3 times my capability to produce new buildings. That's going to be great. So, we'll come on down to 5 speed again. They've mobilized. We're slowly mobilizing, we've got to count down to war. They've got to back down, I mean, they're fearful. I would rather a war just because I would gain so much, but if I've got to take over just that many territories, I was going to try to potentially push for reparations again, but if they back down, it won't even matter. All right, let's go over to four speed. Only a few more days to go. Yeah, they said forget that. So I was able to pick up my lands without having to worry about any blood being spilled. We'll keep on doing that every time that truce is over. Let's have a look. My GDP has shot up 1.7 million. We've got over 2 million people now. Think about how few people we had to begin with. For buildings, we're looking at government administration, Textile mills for more clothing being produced. Fishing wharves, cotton plantations, wheat farms too, and quite a few barracks. I'm not going to get rid of them. They are largely Greek. A few Albanian people, Turkish too. Albanian people, 
They're not going to drink liquor nor wine. Okay, they have no obsessions. Things they really want. But when it comes to Turkish people, I've got to get them their tea one day. As we do have more people under our rulership right now. Alright, so we've got some fairly expensive goods. I do need more bureaucracy. But there we go. There's some iron. I'll have to watch out. We don't want to have an imbalance again. Yeah, there's a lot of buy orders. I didn't want to originally do it, but I had to really tone down how many barracks I had over here in Thessaly. I don't really need a very powerful land army, but I could use a larger navy. We're just going to expand our naval bases. I'll probably want to bring those down or build them later on, but eventually I want a major, major navy. Now over here, the Ottoman Empire and Egypt are about to go to war. That's really good for us. Hopefully it's going to be bloody. We can't fight Egypt until, I believe, 1842. We've got a truce. Let's see over here. We've got our banking. Great. But now it's about time to look at production. We'll come over here real quick. Agriculture. We do need more of that. We could also pick up a few other things that could help out our textile mills. That's what I want right now. We'll probably need to work on dyes too. But here we go. Three to six months to pick it up. Then we'll keep on moving on. Maybe we'll work towards mechanical tools or get the atmospheric engine. For now, let's have a look again at that play in Anatolia. All right, they're fighting. Oh, that's going to be a savage fight. Academia. Institutions of higher education don't just improve individual minds, but bring the nation's best and brightest together. That's true. I'm going to work on a university pretty darn soon. And over here for the war, like I thought, it's pretty bloody. Egypt has a smaller army. The Ottoman Empire, they have a lot more. Either way, though, they're going to be weakened by their current conflict. Here's a battle happening right now. The Ottoman Empire. They've got their men. But our goal is to pick up the pieces. Hopefully there's going to be revolutions over there and other problems. And I'm going to work on building up my iron. Because once I get coal, I'm going to be ready for steel. That's truly what I want. Our people, they're still pretty angry. That'll change. But as you're able to also see, the radicals are declining in number. Well, listen, I mean, that could be better too. We're still trying to build up a few new parties right now. Let's come over here to politics. Industrialists. 15.2%. I'm currently suppressing the church. They're at 10.4%. They're nearly out of here, petite bourgeois. I no longer need to suppress you. Instead, I would like to eventually go after maybe the armed forces. It's one idea. But no, instead, I will suppress you. The poor folk. They're like, come on, man. We just want to work. I don't care. We've got laws to change. All right, I've got my law enforcement at level two. That's going to help out even more with all those mini radicals. The war is really not going well for Egypt over here. Well, that's okay, though. Look at how many were killed. 72,000. The cost of that war, it hasn't been too dramatic. Oh, look at that battle. That's a lot of men. There's still more to die, too. It'll take them longer. Now, have a look at our own radicals. They're beginning to plummet. Let's have a look at why. Ah, standard of living. It's going up. A few people lost their jobs, but hey, we've got a few changes coming. Let's have a look over here. Textile mills are doing well. We've got a lot of cotton. We need some dye as well, so I'll need to probably import or even produce my own if it's possible. If it's not, that's okay too. But look over here. We're producing 200 for fabric from all of my cotton plantations. Over here, my textile mills, they are consuming 160. That's why I'm building one more textile mill. For dyes, we don't need a lot, but we'll want some one day. For paper, we definitely want paper because I need to work on more administration. Look at that GDP. 2.3 million. Standard of living, 11.9. Our population is slowly going up. These two locations are not really wealthy, so that was a major war for really nothing. Now, I'm going to keep on working on my own economy. I'm trying to build up what I can while I still get those payments. We've got a few unemployed over in the Peloponnese. A few over here, but generally we don't have a lot of unemployed. That's looking really good for us. GDP still going up. Standard of living, 12. Let's see. The minimum expected would be 7.1. We're not there, thankfully. 
population. It's only a small growth, but we don't want that many more people coming in just yet, not until I conquer more territory. For technology, once I get my intensive agriculture, we're going to make a lot more money. I'll probably build more farms eventually. That way we're able to feed our people and provide more jobs for anyone who's just really kind of working on lands, but not really producing a lot. It's currently 1841. It's about to be 1842. The radicals are still slowly decreasing. We actually have many more loyalists. Our standard of living has gone up to 12.5. People here are living very well. I mean, look at that map. They're living much better here than they are up there. I'm trying to build up a few new production facilities, like food industries. We'll be able to turn grain into proper groceries, tooling workshops, textile mills, paper mills, all of that. I'm still getting payments. I mean, they're going to go away eventually, but I've got to keep on using all of them. You're able to see what I'm spending all of my money on. Construction goods, 12.3 thousand. That's a lot. And over here, I'm still trying to shift over our parties. That's why we're not pushing for new laws yet. Industrialists, wow, 22.6%. You know what? Come on over. Armed forces, get out. Yeah, there we go. Intelligentsia, if I bring you in, that would cause issues too. In fact, why don't we do this? Yeah, we'll keep them out for now, even though they have a lot of sway. Done. So now we've got our people over here. There might be a few more radicals in the future. We'll have to carefully look at our laws and figure out what we want. But I think it's going to be a good idea to potentially push for some new manner of voting. Wealth voting, that could be okay. Landed voting. Now, unfortunately, the landowners do like that. However, two other parties do too. Only one of them has any real clout. 17.7% for our intelligentsia. But it would be a great way to have some manner of voting, and that could shift in the future too. I went through the laws, and here's one where I think we could make a great change. Wealth voting over here. We've got two parties who support it, and we've got two who oppose it. However, they wouldn't hate me. The church is being reduced in power. Landowners, they would be neutral. So that's okay. We'll try it out. It might not work out. Maybe it won't. But we're going to do wealth voting. Largely because, again, we want to ensure that we have political parties. Hopefully it'll pass and we won't have to worry about a major rebellion. Authority is currently down. I'm going to have to change up a few things over here. So here's what we're going to do then. We're going to come back over to politics. Back over to government. And you know what, farmers? I'm going to leave you alone. We're much better off now. And because we've got some excess, look at that. Enactment time, down by 6.2%. So actually, I could stop suppressing everyone and we would have a higher chance or a faster pacing for potentially enacting our law. That would be really good. By the way, what I love too is that as you expand your towns, your cities, they actually do grow. It's really gorgeous. I mean, look at Athens over here. They're really growing quickly. It finally happened. We have no more war reparations, which means our truce over with Egypt has ended. And over here, we weren't able to pass our law, not yet. The paperwork of elections. Implementing a proper voting system for the upcoming wealth voting elections has put a strain on the Greek government's administrative capacities. True. All right. There goes my points, at least for a little bit. I'm going to have to change up a few things, maybe get rid of a trade route or two. I don't like having waste or... I could come over here and work on government administration. Sure, it needs more paper, but we're going to do that instead. I've got to develop a little bit more over here in Thessaly because we want that population to support us, to be happy. At the moment, they have a lot of rebels. The people loyal to us, well, they are from our core lands, which does make sense. We'll keep on trying to push for that law. We no longer have war reparations coming in, which means I'll need to monitor what I'm spending my money on. Pretty soon we'll need to change up our construction. Now, over here in Lower Egypt, we have an enemy who has a majority of their GDP coming from one area. Right over here. I could take it over. That would double my economy and my population. However, look, their religion and their culture, it's not really compatible with what we're trying to do right now. Not to mention we do have laws which would discriminate against all of them that could cause some manner of civil war, some type of revolution. It just wouldn't benefit me in the long term, even though in the short term I could make a lot of money. Instead, why don't we go after Alexandria? It's time. Alex, 
Alexander, he came here. Now it's our turn to come back. Here's a treaty port. Austria is going to be willing to join me. I'll try to make more money. They might just give up, so I'm not going to use too many of my maneuvers, but we just need to wait. Now, France probably doesn't like them. Imagine if the Ottoman Empire and Egypt allied. We would be in trouble. But because they're divided, the great powers are more than happy to help us out in picking them apart, which is what they're doing. I mean, thanks to the great powers, France, Great Britain, Russia, we've been able to even form our state in the very beginning. 1821. We're also waiting for wealth voting. After that, we'll probably make a few other pushes. We don't want too many radicals, but we've got plenty of people who are loyal to the cause. Here comes our university. That's going to be great. We're going to have one right over here in Athens. Again, I want to really remark on how much I love seeing our little towns grow. There's one extra building there. There's going to be another one later on. We've got empiricism too. More influence, two new laws, a new party, and two new technologies. All right. Very nice. Austria has taken point. I kind of do want the war to happen because we make a lot of money. But if not, we'll still gain a port. It'll take time for it to become profitable. And they did, in fact, back down. Have a look at that. I won't be able to incorporate what's over here. It's only a treaty port. But now, if we ever want to invade, we'll be able to come over here and take over. We're going to have our city. Now. I'm going to give them time to staff up everything. They are isolated, so they need a port. There we are. Yeah, perfect. Do I really need a barracks? Probably not, but we'll hold on to a couple levels for right now. And we'll come over here just to pay off some of my debts, change our construction type, our production method, and hopefully we'll be able to pay that off very soon. What about going after our enemies over in the Ottoman Empire? Western Thrace would be incredible. Let's have a look at it. 1.48 million for GDP, 8% of their economy. Over here, only 2%. Oh yeah. I want to be right by Constantinople. Conquer state. Austria will come to join us. We'll gain a bit of infamy, but not nearly enough to where people will truly hate us. Now, hold on. Let's come over here and pick up, if we do fight a war, Macedonia. Then we'll have it all connected together. After that, I would like some money too. Done. All right, we'll come over here. Austria, let's go. All right, so they'll probably do it. Then we'll be able to potentially gain one or two territories. Oh, they're gonna hate me a lot. Here's our countdown to war. We have our army mobilized. They are worried, but they may fight the war. I wish they wouldn't, but we're gonna see a lot of dead people. Hopefully not too many of our own. Let's have a look again. We'll go up to three speed. Our allies are on the way, but they're not here yet. Here it goes. That's a lot of bloodshed. They've got, what, 63 heading over here to our front? Well, thankfully, Austria is sending more. That's what we need at the moment. I'm going to be losing a lot of money, but hey, it happens. After I build my port, I would like to halt construction. Serbia has quite a few soldiers. Here's an active battle. We just need to win one over here. Okay, General Joseph, you're very old, too. I wonder what will happen after the many good leaders of Austria passes on. Do they have new ones to replace what they currently have, or they fall apart? I don't know. Thankfully, they're winning a battle because their defense is very good. General Alexander is actually quite talented. We need him to lose at least one battle. If we push in a little bit, we're going to be okay. If not, it's going to be a, st a freaking stalemate, really. Over here, we have a battle in Bosnia. Oh, Austria is going to lose that one. Back over here, we have another battle. Thankfully, it's a minor one, and we are winning. Oh, we have General Laval on our side. The power of the mustache. He doesn't need a beard. He's got a pointy helmet and a mustache. He's going to be okay. All right, let's have a look at details. North Italian, South German. And we have another battle over here. Oh, General Carl, you're leading. Okay. It looks like right now we're winning. We've got some dead, but we are winning. I'm very proud of him. Yeah, he pushed in, but he's not able to keep it going. It's still going to be a very bloody affair. We're not losing quite as many men, but we have so many wounded. I mean, think about all the dependents. While playing Victoria 3, it's made me truly aware about how war can impact your economy. I don't mean in terms of paying for your men or things like that. I mean those who are wounded, those who can't fight anymore. 
They become dependents. Ah, very good. They're pushing into Serbia. All we needed was one win. Otherwise, we could have been stuck here. Let's come back down real quick. We'll go up to four speed. But so far, the war is going well. Let's have a look at war support. They've lost, what, 25,000 men? We've lost over 41,000. Attrition is really where we're hurt, so we've got to work on that in the future, too. Another win. That's why early on we want to defend. We don't want to go out there attacking. I need better technology for that. Then we're going to be okay. Yeah, see, we're just going to defend over here and help out. We're going to maintain the line. Austria has manpower. They're going to push out. Oh, look at that front. They have 108. We've got 197. Are we united now? Because if we are, if we hit their other forces, that would be great. Like if they came all the way down and hit our front, that would truly be ideal, I think. Okay. 89 to 84. The Ottoman Empire is no joke. I mean, they are on the decline, but it's good to keep in mind they're still quite powerful. It's only because we have help that we're able to do what we're currently doing. Our GDP is currently doing pretty well. I want to educate more people. Hopefully we'll be able to pull that off. When it comes to passing our law, I might need to cancel it for now because at the moment it didn't do quite well in debate. Yeah, see that? So we could cancel it, try again later, or just wait for a better law. I mean, I've got options. I do want to keep the peace at the moment. Austria has more men coming in. They lost a battle, a minor one at that. So let's come back down over here where at the moment we're winning. The bloody war goes on, but thankfully it's in our favor. Serbia has been captured and conquered. Over here is where we're slowly making gains. There we go. Our own people, they're putting their lives on the line down over here. Here's one battle that we're about to lose, though we have won so many. We just need to push a little bit more. In fact, we'll move over to five speed. Yeah, there's one win for them. But only one. There we go. Our two fronts are going to eventually meet together. All right, crystal glass. That's going to be great for a few things. I've been working on new technology. Five speed is pretty fast, but we are fighting a war and I don't really need to monitor anything else. My GDP is really shooting up, though. I've been working on new trade routes, importing small arms, cannons, all of that. So over here, we're fighting, we're defending. And like I said before, I could just allow our people to stay at home. I'm choosing not to. We've got to bleed, too. 363 dead, 1,200 wounded. But look at that. We crushed it. They just fell apart, really. A failed attack. No kidding. I mean, so many died in a very short amount of time. So now that we're at a point where their war support is at zero, we just need to conquer the lands we need. Austria is really laying it on thick. Yeah. They're just conquering more and more. We're back over to five speed again. Our side, they're holding on. Whoa. Whoa mass communication all done that provides more authority for us we'll come over here and pick up more technology under our society tree yeah i think i want romanticism we're currently ranked 26 we could go up i would like to that would be ideal i think okay general alfred you're beating general omir more support on our side is slowly going down. We have lost over 200,000. I wonder how their people feel about dying for our cause. But then again, it gets rid of a major rival. A rival where it's a better idea if we lead the Greek people here. So up over here, it looks like right now they're about to win a battle. That's a shame. Yeah, see, we're not just sweeping. We're having to take our time fighting for every inch. And it looks like right now the front is going to change up. Yeah, I could try to push in, but... I think that would be a bad idea. Instead, we're going to help maintain our defenses. We're losing a battle close by over here in Skopje. But they've been encircled. They're trapped. Oh, that's got to feel bad. I mean, really bad. Wow. What's going to happen to their men? I'm really curious about that. Look at how many are encircled over here. That's got to be really, really bad. What a front for us. Oh, I like it. See, the main army is now moving over to the east. We're over here. They've got 159 battalions. Okay, we might need some help. We might need a few people to come over here. Or maybe we just hold on to them. I wonder what their supplies are like. 84, General Laval, he's coming here to deliver a crushing blow. Oh, what a battle. Over, what, 1,500 dead? And more and growing? Yeah. 
They fell apart. They've been crushed. General moved. No kidding. I can't believe how many we're now killing. That alone may change up future wars too. That could do it. Yeah, see, if I didn't have interest to pay off, then I would actually be earning money at the moment. And yeah, they came over here. We beat them again. Oh, no. They're losing so, so bad. They're just kind of over here trapped at the moment. I wonder how that really feels for them because, I mean, what are they going to do? They can't do too much. They're only able to wait over here. They're not able to support major lines. Oh, it's all gone. They're all gone. Wow. All right. Well, General, you're not done. Come over here. We'll defend what we're going to take. Yeah, that's what we'll do. They're still fighting major battles, but how many battalions are we talking about? I suppose they just went back home. I was hoping that maybe they would all be gone, but now they're just back home. Still though, they're no longer able to bother us. They're getting a few wins, but look at that war support. It's bad for us too, but not that bad. Make peace. We've lost what, 14,000, 11,000 wounded. They've lost nearly 300,000. Our enemies over 200,000. Yeah, they begin to lose a lot more afterwards. But pretty soon, they're going to call for a peace treaty. There we go. We did it. We're now, again, making money. We're going to be able to build again. And we've got new territories. But there's a lot of devastation. Okay, we've got to incorporate 41.3. That's a lot for bureaucracy. My GDP, 5.4 million. Over here, 24. Thankfully, we've got the points I was saving up. In time, they'll have full access to the market. We do need more authority. I could change up a tax if I wanted to now that we're making more money. We'll move down to three speed, but look at our people now. After one more truce is over, we could go after Constantinople. The Ottoman Empire at the moment has a GDP of 15 million. We took off a decent chunk. I wonder how that might impact their overall military power. And over here, Egypt, they lost a port, a port that we have, that we love. Oh, I love it. Yeah, see, people over here are beginning to convert. We've got some Greek people here. Not many, but a few. We want more, a lot more. That means a few locals have actually converted. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, I've been using a decree over here to help out with that. Oh, crap. There is a major war brewing up north. Have a look. Russia, Austria. They're going to be fighting who? Prussia. Sweden, too. And the Netherlands. I don't want to join in. Just don't harm my economy. Don't do it. And right now I'm still paying off my debts and we now have wealth voting. The landowners have only what? 13.9%? Yeah, their clout is really diminished. We've got three parties. Russian, Free Trade, and English Party. Okay, so after the elections, we're going to reform our government. As of right now, who's winning? The Free Trade Party. They have a lot of love. Evidently, the church supports the Russian party. That tracks because of, well, the church. Over here, the English party. Not a lot of votes, but that's okay. Now, our GDP is at 6.1 million. We've got a few rebels, but that's going down. It'll continue to go down. I mean, they're largely found over here in the north where we have conquered many lands. Thankfully, though, things are getting better. It'll just take time for everything to truly improve. For my building production, it's back down over to wooden because, again, I'm trying to get rid of my blasted ugh, interest payments. It's only 827, but I don't like having that. Now, we're also still trying to educate people back over here in our capital. The GDP over in Athens, well, it was at 1.50 million. That's incredible. So we make a lot of money from services and groceries, too. Liquor, tools, wood. We need a few more finished goods, I think. Ooh, and we need some more, what? Coal. We need a lot more coal. Our elections are coming up, and we have a new event over here. The best defense. Our neighbors in the Ottoman Empire have become known for their ruthless foreign policy. The concern that the Russian party has raised in their election campaign, promising to be harsher in turn to deter aggression. I do agree. Yeah, I like that. Though I don't want the Russian party to have more power, but for now, I'm going to allow them to have their way. So our GDP is going up, 6.5 million. I'm still trying to really help out over here in our two new territories. It's going to take a few years, but eventually 
life will become better. I'm going to bring more jobs over here. We've got an opportunity for even more iron. Logging camps too. That's why I need my coal. And also, I'll build a few tobacco plantations. That's a great way for me to, of course, make more money. And my money is really going up. Interest, that is nearly gone. I'm going to get back into the black and be okay. For elections, we'll go up in speed real quick. I'm very curious to see what I'll be able to do with my laws once we reform everything. So right now, we've got what? The Free Trade Party. 70% of the vote. That's a lot. Now I get to reform my government without having to worry about people becoming radicalized. All right, landowners, goodbye. Be angry, I don't care. Industrialists, you're here. And the armed forces too. They want to join the English party. They're going to. Done. We're only at 58%, but we'll come over here. We have no social security. Let's pick up poor laws to help out. It's gonna make people probably pretty happy. So whenever they get welfare, their political strength will go down, and that means less unhappy people. Bureaucracy would also go down, so I might need to actually work on that too. I do have a lot of trade routes, which means I need more paper to pay for all of that. I'll carefully look at our laws over here. I could try to go after presidential republic. That would tick off a lot of people. Oh yeah, the church, they would hate it. So I think what I might do instead is wait for their power to go down a little bit more, then I'll make a push, because right now I don't want a civil war. That would interrupt our growth. And at the moment, I believe I'm ready. Let's come over here. Time to build faster. See, I've changed up my buildings a bit. We're going to focus on our economy because I need to bring in more jobs. And so that's what I'm doing right now. We lost our admiral. Only 50 years old, too. He was quite loved. I mean, he was very popular. And now he's gone. I'll hire a new one a bit later on, whenever we need one. We're not going to have any wars at the moment. Oh, Prussia is winning so far. Look at that conflict over here. That's brutal. All right, so if we have a look again, Prussia is really steamrolling. They haven't lost a lot. They've got so many men. Frankfurt, you caused a major, major war. See, imagine if I wanted more lands and Austria was busy fighting over here. Then they wouldn't be able to help me out. The Ottomans could potentially come after us and that would be even worse. Yeah, the war is not going well. Prussia is very likely to win. Austria could deal with a lot of issues. Now, we're at a point where we could potentially become independent and stand on our own. I still want to maybe go through a few more series of wars over here in Egypt. If I get multiculturalism and I take lower Egypt, think about our economy. It would be astonishing, really. And also, I would have all the food that I could ever want. That grain production, oh, it would be just magical. All right, let's have a look over here at our buildings real quick. All right. Condensing engine pump, I'll take it. Okay, we're building up our first ranches. I also want to work on fertilizers, which means I'll need sulfur. But overall, we're doing fine. I've got leaded glass. Crystal glass would be rather expensive because we would need lead. Water to boiler. Sure, less people would have work here. However, that means they could find other work. They might move, but they could find other work. Yeah, we'll do that right now. I'm able to stomach any cost like that at the moment. For development, we're doing fine too. For construction, well, we're building. A few more raw goods just to help out. And we're building up our gold reserves for the first time in a very long time. Our two new states have been integrated. There's still a bit of turmoil, but that'll go down. We'll be able to get more taxes and make them happier, and everyone will have more work. They just need to be patient. Population decreases are still happening. And we now have poor laws. I did change my mind. I'll need to work on a few new buildings, but I'll be able to afford it. Either way, though, that's going to help out. The landowners, I mean, they're really ticked off, but look at who's happy. Trade unions, industrialists, who continue to grow in power. I mean, that's all because of what I did over here. Oh, and by the way, we are going to work towards steel. So hopefully in the next 10 to 20 years, we're going to have a great economy, especially as we continue to move over here to the east. Once we take Anatolia, then we'll have what we need. And of course, we're going to take Constantinople. Look at that economy. We would gain a lot of prestige. They've got shipyards, textile mills, trade centers too. Wheat farms, silk, tobacco, 
And I could hold on to the barracks, but more importantly, the naval bases. Oh, yeah. All right, so now I've got to get more points, which means we'll come over here. I've built up a new construction sector. Government administration. You know what? Finish up your logging camps. We could use more work over here in Crete. I'm just trying to help out. Crete has some people who could use work. Migration going down. I mean, people are moving around. Our GDP, 7.1 million or 7.16. We're still ranked at number 19. And up north, the war is still going on. No one's really winning, not outright. But if you look at it, Prussia pushed in. I think right now they're just kind of stuck at the moment. Over 400,000 dead. How many from what? Attrition? Oh my god. Russia has lost the majority of their men from attrition, not battle. For Prussia, that's also true. Yeah, don't fight up there. I don't want to. You know what? I never want to visit. It's warm here. I've got wine, olives, tobacco. I've got everything I need down over here. And pretty soon our building should be done. Yeah, in 10 more weeks, we'll be okay. We've got our poor laws, and I know that landowners are angry, but they're on the way out. I mean, again, welfare payments up. Their political strength goes down. We're going to help out our people. We're going to maintain our people wherever we can. Now, Egypt over here, they've got a lot of interests down to the southeast. I could eventually build a colony. I'll think about it. I mean, I could try to colonize over here in Africa. I could go further out. But that's why I truly need a really good navy because a bunch of minor powers could unite. Oh, and Italy has finally formed. They like us a lot. Their GDP is, wow, has just risen astronomically. They're rather impoverished. Our standard of living is much better. 12.5 is pretty darn good, I think. Yeah, look at that map. It's going very well in our lands. We have developed quite a nation, quite a state. Oh, holy crap, we did it. From farms to factories. So we were able to just really do a lot. The industrialists have expressed their satisfaction with the direction being taken by the country. I believe that. Now, we could get more loyalists. Or over here, they could get more support. No. Let's take more. That's for five years, too. So that was a major benefit. And right now, I'm going to subsidize our first steel mill. The purpose being is that, one, it's going to take time to build up. But in the long term, it's going to be a winning strategy, I think. I could be wrong, but... We just want to ensure that we're already doing that because we want engines. We want to be able to really enhance our infrastructure. It's finally time. We've got our monarchy, but not for much longer. Let's come over here real quick. Presidential Republic. Sure, the petit bourgeois church and land owners will hate it, but I don't really care. They're falling apart anyway. Altogether, they do represent some opposition, but we're stronger and we are better. So we'll make it work out. No, I don't want to ally you. That's very sweet of you, but no, because I want your lands. I need all that coal up here. Of course, Serbia itself doesn't have coal. Southern Serbia does. Ooh, lead too. Yeah, that would be crucial for me to pick up later on, but here we are now. We have all of our lands over here. There's another war happening. Russia, are you okay? Prussia, you as well. Over 500,000 dead. Russia has allied Great Britain. Oh, that's brutal. What have you done, Hamburg? Prussia, 298,000 dead. Attrition is really brutal. They've got two allies over here. Minor ones, but hey, they're fighting. It's not my war. If I want to, I could reform the government. I'm going to hold on to what we have right now. Radicals are going back up only a bit. Thankfully, though, overall, it's gone down. Loyalists have gone up by quite a bit, too. Nearly 200,000. That's incredible. Our population, nearly 4 million. Standard of living, 13.5. Literacy slowly going up. I do want more, but I've got to work on that. And GDP, 8.5 million. I'm going to work on more steel, but I also want a few new goods too, like silk, sugar, banana plantations, for technology. We've got our work cut out for us. We've got modern sewage. I mean, if we get that more infrastructure and no more poop on the streets that's a win-win for buildings over here i've been changing to whatever more optimal building method i'm able to pick up because again our trade is so good that i'm able to really offset any cost of having to import basic goods now when it comes to ports i'm working on more because i need to be able to import more 
We've got only one university. I would like another one. I suppose we could pick one up. We've got the money. Yeah, I went ahead and built a few more construction sectors. I'm going to be able to pay for it right now. I built up my gold reserves and now we're going to double down and just really build quickly. 35 is very high for us. And once we're back, we're going to work on a new war over here once we're able to. Yeah, we should be able to go after maybe Egypt or the Ottoman Empire. There's a few minor powers I want to pick up too. Though, Austria. I hope you're not too weak. No, they've got plenty of power. Ranked four. Yeah, they're doing fine. We have no more infamy to worry about. Our trade is looking good. Now, for politics over here, industrialists, they're very loyal. 30.9%. Intelligentsia, 17.6%. Armed forces, I mean, they've gone down in clout, but 10.6%. Look at the changes over here. The church, they're very unhappy. They do represent the Russian party. Landowners, I mean, 9.1%. But we're going to make them fall apart. I do need more authority and obviously more bureaucracy. Our government, it's rather efficient, I think. Well, King Otto, you're currently 35, but it's about time for you to stand down. I wonder if we'll ever see your son again. Look at him. Yep, looks the same. He's currently 12. But everyone, we've done it for now. I would like for all of you here to really consider that you're a member of our great nation. And you're here to offer debate and to help advise on what we do in the future. So any ideas you have, pretend that maybe you're a member of the government or maybe you just live here, whatever you want. And you're giving your ideas on how to better help our nation state prosper. So thank you for watching everyone and look forward to more because we still have so much more to do. Because in time, we're going to form, oh, you know what, Byzantium. We just need to keep on conquering. We've got, what, five out of twelve. A little bit more and we'll be there.